Today we're going to talk about the word I. I, the word I is just I, but it's capitalized. It is always capitalized. When we talk, when we use I, we're talking about ourselves. I went to the store. I washed the dog. I. When we see it in the middle of a sentence, it will still be capitalized. I, when we write our I, we start at the top, we go all the way down to the bottom line, then we cross over. Sometimes you'll see it with a very tiny line, sometimes it will be bigger line. So right here, we're going to trace them down. Cross. So we go straight down, go back to the top, go across, go to the bottom, across. Straight line, from solid line to solid line. Draw across. And then across. Straight line down, then across. Straight line down, and across, and across. So you're doing a line on the top and a line on the bottom. It almost looks like an, a, uh, a sideways H. So you draw a line straight down, then you go across, and across. Straight down, across, and across. Make sure you're leaving that space. It is a word. We want to give it a space between the new word. So I, 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 I. Blank can jump very high. So I. I is just one letter. One word. Blank can jump very high. So we're putting that I on that line. I can jump very high. And remember when we read, we put our finger under each each word so our brain and our our body and our mouths are all ready for the same word. I can jump very high. And there's an exclamation mark. An exclamation mark has a line and then a dot. A period is just a dot. An exclamation mark is a line above the dot. A question mark looks almost like a two, but then it draws down. Okay, so then down here, we're going to write that sentence again. I space can C A N space jump J U M P J U M P. If I'm not sure, I'm gonna look right up here. I can jump, I can jump very, there's a space V E R Y. Very space high H I G H exclamation mark. And again, if you want to, you can cut out the I and glue it on here. I just write it. Okay, and then on the other side of the sheet, we're still doing the letter I. We're going to trace those eyes down, cross, and across. Down, across, across, down, across, across, down, across, across. I, 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 I. And this is stamp it. So, if you have stamps, you can. If we were in the classroom, we would be stamping it. However, you can just rewrite it. You could write it with markers. You could write it with crayons. You could write it with colored pencils. I'm going to put I, I, I. Then it says rainbow write it. And what that is, is you use your different colors. And you write them. So if I used black for this one, I could use red for the next one. So I, I, I could use my pencil for the next one. I could use my marker, my blue marker. Rainbow is red, yellow. Oh, sorry, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, or purple. It says Roy G. Biv. Red, orange, yellow is Roy. G is green. Biv, B I V, which is blue, indigo, and violet. Uh, indigo and violet are a shade of purple. Okay, then it says used in a sentence. So this one, I'm going to write a sentence. You can use the same sentence as you used here. I'm going to put I can I can C 
see. I can see. Simple sentence, we know all those words. I can see. There's my sentence. If I wanted to continue it, I could put I can see a dog. If I wanted to write a longer sentence, I can see a dog. But that is up to you. The letter I, the word I, are both I's. It's just the word I is capitalized. You're not going to see it lowercase as the word I. So if you see it lowercase in a sentence, it needs to be changed or there's more to that word. Kiss your brain. You're working hard.